Hey guys, today we're in the lab and we're looking at the difference between phenolphthalein and methyl orange indicators, what they look like in acid, alkali and their endpoints. Here I have some sodium hydroxide, which is an alkali, and some hydrochloric acid, which is an acid. And we're just going to look at what colour they go in the indicator phenolphthalein. I put them on a white tile here so you can see the colours really clearly. Phenol phalein is an absolutely lovely, lovely indicator. You can see that fantastic pink colour there in alkali. And um, when I pop it into acid, you'll see that it stays clear, colourless. There is no colour in acid, but in alkali, it is this fantastic, fantastic pink colour. So pop that to one side, turn it round. So again, I have my alkali and my acid, and this time I'm going to use methyl orange as our indicator. Not quite as pretty as um, phenolphthalein, just give that a bit of a swirl to mix it. A bit more, but still some very, very nice colours there. A bit more in the acid. There we go, so in alkali it's a yellow colour, in um, acid it's a red colour. Now we have our acid and our alkali, the colours, what I'm going to do is just um, get the end point for you. So I've put a third beaker in the middle here and I'm going to show you the end point. So I have acid in here already and I'm just going to drop by drop add in the alkali. Now I'm doing this fairly quickly because I roughly know how much I'm going to need to add in to get the colour change. So another large squirt in there. Now we can see that it's kind of starting to change colour a bit. What you need to do, move these to the sides, is just swirl it because we are looking for a permanent colour change. Now you can see that this colour is still very, very similar to the um, alkali. So what I need to do now is just go slowly swirling it as I do it. And what we are looking for is the first permanent colour change. So we can start to see here that it's kind of a um, mixture of colours. So this is the reason we need to swirl it. So if I just go really close in there, you can see that it is kind of orange and red, um, yellow and red at the same time. Now what we need to be really careful of is making sure we get the first permanent colour change and this is why we need to swirl it. Because what we are looking for is a colour change and if I just put two of those together you will see this is now slightly more orangey than it is red but it is not yellow. If I just keep adding to this you'll, you'll see that um, as we go past the neutralisation endpoint, it will very, very quickly become yellow again in the space of very, very few drops. We're going to do the same with phenolphthalein here. So I have um, hydrochloric acid in here, and you'll see as I add in the sodium hydroxide, you get these absolutely beautiful flashes of um, pink coming up but they disappear really quite slowly and again we are looking for the first permanent colour change so we just need to be swirling this and unfortunately the pink disappears. Now because I know roughly how much it's going to be I'm just going to add in splodge, swirl it, it disappears, another splodge, 
swirl it, it disappears. We are looking for the first permanent colour change. And a permanent colour change lasts for, well, more than swirling it. So I know that I'm close to the end point now, so we just need to go drop by drop, swirling. Just move these two out of the way. It's much easier to see with um, phenol failing. Uh, the colour changes that go on. So you can see it's taking longer and longer for the pink colour to disappear here. And when we do titrations, we really do want it to be a drop by drop result. One drop too far is the wrong result. One drop too few is the wrong result. Okay, we are really, really close, but as you can see, if I just swirl this a little bit, it looks like there's a permanent colour change, but swirling it more will get rid of that colour change. This is why when you're doing a titration, you constantly need to have your conical flask in motion. Very close now. more alkali to add in if you can swirl away that pink color you have not reached the end point and there it is drop by drop a permanent color change